Honey, uh, next week for homework, I've got a really interesting article about the, the show Jackass. Because if you really think about it, Johnny Knoxville is almost 50 now. So all that shit he was doing in his 20s and 30s, how does that affect old then? The whole article is all about the jackass guys now. And nice. it's like, dude, That's interesting. How, dude, how are your fucking knees? How are all of your knees? How many of you? How Yeah, how are, how are your balls? How many of you had substance abuse problems? I'm really interested in all of this. <laughs> you would think somebody's got to be really hooked on painkillers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a really interesting article. I, I, I read a review of the article, but I didn't read the actual article. So I tracked down the article. So we're, that's homework for next week. But anyway, it's, a, it's interesting shit. Uh, Bella. Is, is there a new supernatural tonight? Yes. Do you want to do your podcast before supernatural? I know, but 15 minutes. I'm trying to. Sure. Okay. Is Jeannie there? Jeannie is here. She is eating. Are you up for it? Uh huh. Yes. Oh, she's good. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Right. I, have, I, I have kind of a stuffy head and a headache, but yeah, we'll do oh, it. Sorry. Okay. Bella, you take it away. Hello, Jeannie. Hi, Bella. Are you really excited? Yeah. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> okay. Because uh, the producers that did uh, the this uh, today's episode um make everything feel that, like this is how mom describes it. Uh, they they make it feel rapey. Oh. There's always some. There's, there's always some weird romantic tension between two of the characters and I don't like it at uh, all. It's very uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. That would be. Why do they do that? Because they're weird idiots. That's why. Uh, uh. The writers of your favorite show are idiots. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, the writer of this episode. Oh, God, yeah, okay. It's off ladies and everything. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. But it's... Uh, yeah. Aww. It's gonna be weird. Uh, what's the movie for this week? It's about Tanya Harding, the figure skater. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Yay. Um, oh, I, knew, I, I know next week's movie. Cool. Oh. I have no but I know what are it you, is. Are you reading your dad's notes? Yes. Ha ha ha. You got huh. the goods on him. Sorry, my head is really stuffed up and I kind of have a headache. But yeah, I'm hanging in there. It came on kind of quick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, t- take some ibuprofen. Do what? Take some ibuprofen. I- I'm going to take some aspirin after I eat, yeah. I'm having just having a bowl of cereal. And then I'll take some aspirin, and then I'll probably go to bed. But it's been a crazy week. Earlier this week, okay, I'm one of the openers, which means I'm one of the first ones there. But there's another teacher who's always there first. She opens the building, like goes and unlocks the building, literally opens the building. Oh. Turns off the security alarm, all that stuff. Now, I do have a code for the alarm, but I've never really had to use it before. So the other day, uh, I'm at work and I'm waiting for her, and she's not there when she usually is. And so I wait a couple minutes and then I went, oh, what the heck? I can go open it up. I have the key and I have the alarm code. So I go to open it up, unlock the door. Yeah, the alarm thing's beep, beep, beeping, saying, come turn me off. So I put in my, I put in my code and it's still 
beeping. Oh. So I'm going, no. okay, I have to push something else. Okay. Usually like when you do a phone call or the whatever, it says, okay, you put in the number followed by the pound key. So I thought, okay, I'll put, I'll, I'll hit the pound key. That must be it. That's logical. I hit the pound key. Ah, uh, nope. It's still beeping. Oh no. Um, yeah. Now what do I do? Maybe I put the wrong number in. Maybe it's not that number. Maybe it's this other number. I have to put in a code when I clock in on the computer. Maybe that's the number. So I push that number. Nope, that's not it. Maybe I have to push the pound key. Mm, nope, that's not it. I'm going, oh my gosh. It's going beep, beep. And then and then the alarm starts going off. Oh my God, I'm setting off the alarm at work. Just then the other teacher pulls in. She sees me because I have my hands in the air going, ah. She jumps out of her car and runs in, leaving her car door open, by the way, and runs in and punches in the right code. And we both kind of laugh. And she goes, oh, you have to push the number one. Really? Who pushes oh. the number one? So anyhow, so, okay. So then we get into the building and the phone is ringing. So I have to unlock the office door and I go in, answer the phone and it's the alarm company saying, ah, uh, yeah, what's going on there? I said, I put the wrong number in. I'm sorry. She says, what's your name? And I tell her my name. And what's your code number? And I tell her, she goes, you're not in our database. Okay. All righties. Uh, she goes, I said, do you want to talk to the other teacher? She goes, no, that's okay. Don't worry about it. All right, you're good. So I went about my day. Well, today kind of the same thing happened. I get to work. The other teacher doesn't show up. She's not there at 20 after. She's usually there at quarter after. So I went, okay, well, now I know the code. I'll just go in and open up myself. So I did, and it worked perfect. And I, so the other day, that was like practice because the other teacher didn't, she, anyhow, there was some issues. She didn't get there till like 830. Instead Aww. of quarter after six. So she would not have been there to save me. <laughs> so the other day was practice. <clears throat> Yay. And that's my story. <laughs> oh, my God. That was my week. Well, not all of my week. Just two mornings. <laughs> I mean, my week hasn't been so crazy. I had so much school and... School. Learning and learning and stuff. Learning, and learning about I don't know stuff. What grade are you in again? Seven. Seven. That's what I thought. Yeah. Learning about math and range and translation and stuff. Whoa! Like translations to what? Spanish. Uh, you get a shape, and it just you slide it around. That's basically that's basically what we're doing. We're just getting a shape, and we're sliding it. How is that translating? I don't I'm so know. Confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. It's it's just like on a graph. Is a what? It's, it's on a graph. On a graph, okay. Yeah, it's on a graph. There's these four points that are connected to make a shape, and then you, like, do some math things, and then you get a different set of uh, points, and then you put them on the graph, and then they make the same shape. It's uh -huh. the same angle. It's just moved to a different spot. Okay. that That'll, that'll come in handy. D totally. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'll come in handy. Kind of like algebra. Hello, I never learned algebra. <laughs> I still haven't learned algebra. Because you know what? Algebra, I say algebra is a myth. Oh. Algebra is a myth because you cannot add and multiply letters. Right? Yeah. 
A times A times B equals C. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. It makes no sense to me. Exactly. I know it. Uh huh. Yes. I mean, what is that? Math is confusing. What is that? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, Bunny's um making a person on his computer, and it's got this big lump instead of a butt. Oh. I said, "What is that?" He said, "It's a tail." He hopes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I learned a new word in sign language today. What is it? Poop. Oh. I learned how to do poop in sign language. Yeah. Oh. So you make a fist with your left hand, and then you make with your thumb down, and then you make a fist with your right hand, but with your thumb up. Then you like grab. Maybe you maybe you make the fist with the thumb up first, and then you take your left hand and you grab your thumb, and then you pull your thumb downwards out of your other hand. That's poop huh. in sign language. So we're we're teach, we're teaching our kids poop. <laughs> <laughs> now you know too. Yeah. So now you can like point at your little brother, point and then do that. Yeah. So make a make your yeah. Call him a poop, and he'll have no idea. It looks like a dirty word thing, you know, like if you flip somebody off. Yeah. yeah. Kind of looks like that. But it's not. It's just poop. (laughs) And now you know. And nobody else at your house knows. So now you can just go around saying poop all day. And at school, too. I don't know why uh, kids would want. uh, I don't know when in in a person's daily life. Like, when would they. Why would they have to say poop in sign language? Uh, because, like, if you have to go poop. But. But why not just say poop? (laughs) Yeah. Well, because, like, like Eleanor, can Eleanor say poop? She might be able to do the sign language. We teach our kids, we teach our kids all kinds of sign language. Ah. You know, please and more and milk and help. And cracker and water. Cracker. Oh, because we have crackers for snack. So if they want more cracker, please. They can say it in sign language. They can't speak it, but they can do it in sign language. Yeah. So like if they need to use the restroom, they just they just say the restroom. Honey, they're they're in diapers. Oh yeah. So we'll say <laughs> Did you make a poop in your diaper and do the sign language for poop? Yeah. Oh. Uh huh. Did do you have a poop? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, poop. I, I just like saying poop too. Poop. 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 Mm-hmm. My God. Yeah. Like. <laughs> In an adult's daily life, when would there be a situation where they would have to say poop in sign language? Well, if they can just talk. Well, no, no, no. But I, uh, I, uh, a deaf person would <laughs> might have to say poop. <laughs> so that's why there's a sign for poop. I, yeah. I, oh. Yay. But like, okay, okay, okay. Dad, why is your nose shiny? Uh, I am using some of Emerald's liquid pore strip. <laughs> Gotta make sure my pores are clean. Very good. All right, is. Yeah, I gotta okay. wait twenty minutes and then I peel it off. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna sign also, off because I'm gonna take some aspirin, I think, and go to bed. Yeah. yeah. Also, Emerald doesn't know I'm using this, so oh I'm not God. using this. Okay, now show your dad that 
uh, sign language thing I taught you. <gasps> you take that back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, Jeannie, got to wrap up the podcast. You're not going to tell them what it means either, are you? Nope. Awesome. Not at all. Okay. Take I'll back that foul hand language. Uh, nope. uh, I'll talk to you next week. Talk to you next week, Jeannie. Hope Bye. you get better. Me too. I will. Ciao. Yep. Ah, okay, bye. you go and watch your supper natural. Oh crap! Yeah. We got three minutes. Oh no! Yeah, you're you're good. It doesn't take that long to get to the living room. <laughs> what if she has to do that sign language thing first? Hmm. Okay. <coughs> oh. oh. <clears throat> okay, you're there. I am here. Okay. It's a body function. No. Oh. Gotcha.